Appomattox Courthouse was a small village about 90 miles west of Richmond, Virginia. And it was there on April 9, 1865, that the Confederate Army under Robert E. Lee, the Army of Northern Virginia, was cornered and trapped by Union armies under Ulysses S. Grant. Grant and Lee then met in the parlor of Wilmer McLean, and there they discussed the terms under which Robert E. Lee would surrender his army to Ulysses S. Grant. Three days later, the Confederate Army marched up to the Union Army of the Potomac, their old foes from the fields of Antietam and Gettysburg and a dozen other places. As the Confederates march up, they're going to lay down their arms, and it is then that Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, then overseeing the surrender ceremony, will order his men to salute their old foes. John Brown Gordon, leading the Confederates, will order his men to return the salute, one of the quintessential conciliatory acts of the American Civil War. The Confederates will lay down their arms, furl up their flags, and receive parole papers allowing them safe passage to go back to their homes. The message was clear. For Robert E. Lee and his Confederates, the war was over. It is important to remember that though the surrender at Appomattox is the largest and symbolically most important of Confederate surrenders, it did not end the American Civil War. More Confederate troops under Joe Johnson will surrender to William T. Sherman at a place called Bennett Place, just outside Durham, North Carolina, two weeks later. And the last Confederate naval vessel will not surrender until November of 1865. Nevertheless, it is Appomattox that is largely remembered as the place where the Civil War ended. Thanks so much for watching. To see more of what we have to offer, click the videos on the right. And to receive notifications for more cool American history content, click subscribe.